Hello guys, and welcome to another unboxing video. This time I have a few things from Amazon. One of them is a pre-order. And then these two are from Right Stuff. So, let's get into it. Let's open my pre-order first. I'm so excited for this one. It is the new Rumiko Takahashi Mao, and this is pretty much exactly what I expected. Um, I don't know fully what this is about, except that it's also kind of a time warp, time portal travel series, kind of like in Yasha with demons to exercise. And I'm very much looking forward to this. I'll probably do a first impressions video on this one. I got volume one of Die Dark by Q Hayashita. This is the mangaka of Dorohe Doro, and all I know about this series is that everyone is after our main character's bones because they grant them magical powers or wishes or something like that. I already have volume two, thanks to a coworker, and I'm really excited to get into this series, but I want to collect a few more volumes so I can binge it. Next, I got the first two volumes of the Overlord light novel. Um, honestly, this was kind of an impulse buy because Overlord Volume 2 was on sale for like $12 and the retail on these is $20, So, <laughs> but I didn't own Volume 1 yet so I had to get Volume 1 for $16 on sale. I think it's worth it. Hopefully I really do enjoy this series. So I tried watching the anime of this series back when it first came out and I just couldn't get into it. Then again, I only really watched the first episode, so these editions are so beautiful. Like there's, it's hardcover. And I just love these covers and there's a dust jacket. The spine might be hard for you to see because it's black lettering, but it's very beautiful too. Some damage on the bottom, thanks Amazon. But if you don't know, this series is about this character who logs in to his online persona and um, the servers are about to shut down forever, and he wants to be there for the very end. But when the servers shut down, he gets stuck in his game, and the story kind of takes off from there. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, I don't really like overpowered characters, but I heard that this one gets really good, so I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm so excited. I finally have at least volume one of Dorohe Doro by Kyu Hayashita. And this series is 
one that I know is going to be a top favorite for me. What I usually do before buying a series physically is I either read it online or read the scans just to see if it's my thing. I've only read the first chapter and I definitely need this entire series, but the stock for this right now is kind of crazy and I know the last volume is insanely hard to come by, so it might take a while, but really happy to finally start collecting this series. I actually didn't know, but these editions come with a little flap on the inside. Thanks for that, Viz. That's really, really nice, actually. This is a Seinen series about this man who gets a curse placed on him where he has the head of a lizard and he goes around trying to find out who did this to him and it's pretty grotesque and just insane and inside of the lizard head is a human head. It's very mysterious, very dark. Needless to say, I will absolutely love this series. And I picked up Hell's Paradise Volume 1 because I have heard such great things about this series. Hello, focus please, thank you. I love anything to do with samurai or swordsmen even. I heard this is a dark one as well, and that is my favorite kind of story. This series sounds like a battle royale kind of series where our main character is wrongfully accused and has a death sentence, and the only way to get rid of it is to go to this island and fight other people. So, sounds amazing. I'm intrigued. I just know I'm gonna love this. Speaking of samurai, <laughs> I finally got the first omnibus of Vagabond, which is the samurai manga, if you didn't know. This is basically about a samurai who wants to become the best there ever was. And it's pretty dark, and it's just a fun time. I don't really know how else to describe this, I don't want to get into too much detail, but once I started reading the scans, I couldn't stop, so I hope I can collect the rest of this series soon, but it is long and ongoing. And the first Right Stuff package. This is going to be a little light novel moment. <laughs> I got the first volume of, if it's for my daughter, I'd even defeat a demon lord because, I mean, look, it looks so cute and wholesome. And this book is pretty tiny, it's still like 170 odd pages, but yeah. Honestly, I got this one kind of on a whim, just so I could get the free shipping, <laughs> but on the back it says, Dale's an adventurer who can fight the demon lords, but can he handle an adorable devil girl he rescues in the woods? And that's honestly all I need to know for this series. The next thing I got is Three Days of Happiness by Tsugaru Miyaki, another light novel. This whole box is light novels. I was just kind of feeling a kick for some light novels, especially sad, tragic stories. That's another one of my favorite kind of stories to read. On the inside it says, How much is life truly worth? 
Kusunoki used to believe he was destined for great things. Ostracized as a child, he held on to a belief that a good life was waiting for him in the years ahead. Now at the age of 20, he's a completely mediocre college student with no motivations, no dreams, and no money. After learning he can sell his remaining years, and just how little they're worth, he chooses to divest himself of all but his last three months. Has Kuzunoki truly destroyed his last chance to find happiness, or has he somehow found it? So there's some magical elements, and I just love this quote on the back. Ten years from now, something's going to happen for us, something great, and then we'll finally be glad to be alive. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm getting myself into here, but... Oh, the book is white. With that nice foil. Really, really excited to read this. I also got I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, the light novel. I kept going back and forth between the light novel or the manga for this one, but I figured I want to read the source material, which is the light novel, of course. And the only thing I know about this story is that it's about this girl who has pancreatic cancer, and this boy meets her, and maybe it's a bit of a tragic romance. I'm very excited. I've only heard good things about this series. And the next sad light novel that I got is I Had That Same Dream Again by Yoru Sumino. I really love the cover with the cat. <laughs> Anytime I see a black cat, I'm like, ooh, I need that. But um, yes, another sad light novel. This one on the back says, What dreams may come. An unhappy girl who engages in self-harm. A woman ostracized by society. And an old woman looking to live out her twilight years in peace. What could three such different people have in common? That's what grade schooler Koyanagi Nanoka is trying to find out. Assigned by her teacher to define what happiness means to her, Nanoka sets out to get to know these three strangers. And through them, perhaps, to get to know herself too don't really know what that means, but I am very intrigued. Oh, I like the chapter start and end pages. And the next thing I got is a deviation from the sad, so that I can take a bit of a break. And I got The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten, and I'm so excited. If you don't know, blonde anime girls are just my obsession, like... If they're blonde, I probably love them. Um, which is funny because I used to think that I hated blonde because it was boring. But then one day I looked up at the anime posters that I have and most of them were blonde. <laughs> I am a clown. But anyway, this series is about this girl who is basically perfect, perfect grades, athletic, kind amazing and this slob of a guy who um falls in love with her and she is apparently very sweet to him and i'm just so excited i have heard such good things about this and give me all of the cute fluff i need it this next one i'm honestly so so excited for um, it's also an extremely nostalgic series for me. I remember watching the anime. I never finished it because I don't finish anything. But the soundtrack I used to play in my Walkman as I was sleeping. And it's amazing. And that sentence definitely dated me. But <laughs> I'm so glad that the Slayer's light novels are getting these amazing additions. So thank you, J Novel Club. These are amazing hardcovers. And wow, I am blown away by this. It's more beautiful in person, trust me. Wow, this like art style is amazing definitely a bit different from the anime. This is amazing. Also, fun fact, um, I used to write down her spells in a little book to memorize them so that I could 
recite them. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was a fun fact, just to say how much I love this series. But <laughs> anyway, enough gushing. This series is a comedy adventure bit of romance, I would say. There's magic, there's sorcery, there's swordsmen. So if you haven't heard of Slayers, please pick it up. You will not regret it, whether it's the light novel or the anime. But it's about Lena Inverse, a beautiful sorceress who kind of causes some trouble. She's a little mischievous. She's extremely powerful and she kind of leaves a path of destruction, but one day she meets this himbo right here, Gowry, and he is a swordsman, and together they start traveling together, and their banter is amazing. They are so funny together and so entertaining, and they go on adventures, and they're trying to keep the Dark Lord from being resurrected, so... Yeah, I just can't say enough good things about this series. Please give it a shot. Please, 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 at least listen to the OST for the anime. It is so good. One of the best. Also, this is a two-in-one. I have to move everything up because this next box is huge and filled with a series that I'm absolutely adoring. So, hold on a sec. I don't think that's enough room, but we're just going to roll with it. down or what? Oh, it's sideways. Okay. So I got two through six and eight and nine of Dead Dead Demons da -da 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 Destruction by Inyo Asano. And just, wow, these spines actually. I just got whatever was available and as much as I needed to get for free shipping. But this is the majority of the series that's out right now. It is still ongoing, but I think this has the potential to be my favorite Inyo Asano. Although I still have to find and read Pun Pun, but that's a conversation for another day. This is my favorite character, Onton, by the way. I just think she is hilarious and adorable, and she has big eyebrows and twin tails, so obviously she's my favorite. But this series follows a bunch of high schoolers um, while there is an alien invasion. And it's really interesting because you're not really sure what the aliens are there for. We can't really communicate with them. Um, I don't want to say too much because, honestly, you should just go in blind. But yes, it looks cutesy, but I would say this is more of an adult read. There's a bit of everything in here. There's some comedy, there's some banter, there's some existential dread, some just teenage life struggles of your identity, your self-worth, and also the question of are we the bad guys or are the aliens the bad guys? And I just love that commentary so much. 
thank you guys so much for watching my manga haul in September and I hope to see you guys in another one soon. Bye-bye.